Hello, it's Sarah. All right, I wanted to talk about gelatos. I got this set here, this gelatos, Designing with Gelatos by Faber-Castell. And I had a 50% off coupon at Michael's and thought, all right, let me get it. I have, I have a pretty good collection of gelatos, um, but I'm still, I still wasn't really confident or didn't really know what all you could do with them. So I decided to get it. So what it comes with, I mean, you may have seen these at Michael's too and just passed them up and stuff, but I really wanted the, um, the little, um, the swatch journal they have in here and it comes with 10 colors. I probably repeated like one or two of them. I don't, I don't think I had that many of the ones that come in it. It also comes with a booklet, which is great. This booklet here, um, that has like, it has step-by-step -step on a couple things, but mostly, um, I got what I'm going to show you this, the thing on their website. Um, I went to their website. If you, I'll put it in the, um, description box, but it's, I think it, it's either their blog or the design memory craft Faber-Castell website. Um, it's whatever this, I'm going to put the email address down, not the email address, the um, I guess it's the website address and wherever it takes you, it's a page, but like along the right hand side has like videos over there. And the very first one is by Jill Foster and it is to make these, um, what is there? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, different like backgrounds that you can work with gelatos on. And she takes you through it. It's very fast. So I had to keep like pausing and kind of finishing up. Um, but you get all the stuff that you, pretty much all the stuff that you need in this kit. Um, there is some gesso in here, but I just used my gesso. Um, we it, This didn't come in the kit. This was with a different thing. We never did, she didn't really use this like, um, it comes with a little mini mister, which I left upstairs because I rinsed it out. Anyway. It comes with this. We didn't use this either. Um, I don't know, but you definitely do a lot of cool stuff. So let me get to it. Let me show you because I'm going to run out of time if I keep yakking. Um, this is the swatch journal. And I have to say, some of the stuff I knew and it wasn't as exciting as I'd hoped. But this page, actually, I should have started with the back because <laughs> this is my favorite. This, this was so cool. This is corrugated cardboard. And what I love about it is she gessoed the center of it. She just gessoed down the center. Oops, it's still a little wet. Oopsie, now I messed it up. Um, and you can tell like by around the edges how it took, like there's no gesso here, so it took the color differently. And I just think that looks so cool. Like I really like this technique out of all the techniques. It was something different to my eye. It like looked different. I'm going to, I'm going to get a baby wipe and wipe that off. Cause that's bugging me now. Cause I, this was my favorite page and I, now I messed it up, but, um, there's really no color here. So I should be able to wipe it right off. We'll see if, I, if I'm that smart. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it should just be gesso there. I mean, it's still kind of looking red, but anyway, and then, so you just rub the gelatos on there and that's basically what you get. And then we stamped with the gelatos too. So I just took a sheet. It comes with this, like, um, I don't know what you would call this, like, a, um, it's a tulip. It's like a folk art tulip stamp. Um, and I did use that on a different one, but I just took this, I think it's like a, you know, this brand, I can't think of it. I am so brain dead. But anyway, I just took this, this butterfly because it, she did a butterfly on her sample. Um, and, uh, because it looks like a sky in the grass. So she did a butterfly. So she just two toned it. She rubbed, um, red gelato and orange gelato and then just spritzed it and that activates the pigment and then just stamp that down. But, and then I just like put more gelatos on white cardstock and just, uh, punch these out. This is like the only one I finished. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of like freaking out that I messed it up. Um, but anyway, and then I did write basically what I did on the back. All right, let's see what the next one is. Um, this one actually I did, what started it all was I was just looking at my YouTube videos as usual. I had the kit and I had meant to get to it eventually, but Lemur Weber, I guess, had done a Ustream class on these kits. And I started doing it with her. So this is the watercolor paper. 
and she just went across it and, and with dry and nothing wet yet. And then she did make the blue drip. Like, let's see. She had the blue, let me see if I can get this in frame, drip down. You can't really see. Her drips were much bigger. And then one of the things I love, which I do do on the, another page too, is taking a stencil and laying it across the gelatos, the color, and then rubbing off where the stencil holes are. And then that's the the look you get. I really like that. And then we just stamped with the big brush pens. And this is the stamp that came with it. So that was Lemours. Um, let me go this way now. But I really love, like, I can't wait. I think I want to do like a canvas or something. But anyway, speaking of canvases, this is actually canvas. And I had never done this before either. Um, it's an untreated canvas. So this doesn't, hasn't been gessoed. It says untreated canvas, apply dry gesso color, all different, all over the place. And then what you do is, so I used red, orange, yellow, and some of the gold that came with it, and just put it all over the place. And then you take uh, gesso um, on a brush, nice and wet. I think I might have even spritzed it to get the color going. And then you just gesso it, and it's like creamy. The colors blend with the gesso, and then all of a sudden it becomes like this creamy paint almost. It's really cool. So to prep a canvas that way would be really cool. And like it still has flecks of like the canvas showing through. I really like that technique too. That was something I'd never tried. I've always um, used the gelatos on a prepped canvas, like a gessoed canvas. And we there's one of them in here too. So that was one of them. Then... This is the one that Jill Foster does. This is watercolor paper, too. I cut another piece of watercolor paper that I happen to have, and I really, really like this technique, too. So, um, this one, she stamped. She actually used the big brush pens because they're India ink and they don't bleed. I just used Archival, and I just had these on my desk. I just grabbed these flowers because I, when I do, like, um mixed media i just like to use like kind of more a little more like cheaper champ stamp set a cheaper stamp set that i don't really worry about it as much and i think i got this on clearance um at michael's at some point but anyway it was flowers so i just grabbed that and kind of stamped them randomly then i didn't realize because she moves really fast so i like played it back and i heard it after but so what i didn't realize was like you, put, you can either put the gelato on and then work with that with a wet brush. You can take a wet brush and take it from the gelato, like take the tip of the gelato and, a wet, and then get your color from the gelato and go to the piece. So there's a couple different ways you could do it, which I think I'll play with that again because it just looks really watercolory and like really artistic. Like I think it looks pretty. It's pastel -y and, you know, it doesn't look real like mixed media it looks like i thought about it and tried to make it look like this and then i love the background too like you just hit it with blue here and there and then come back with the brush and pull it and that gives it like that modeled sky look and then finally um she took uh gesso again and just with her fingers just rubbed it here and there over spots like so i didn't like my centers that much so i kind of did it on my centers um oh and we spattered she spattered with it too. So you just um, get the wet brush and just take it from the tip of your thing and get it real wet and then just like flick it down, like flick it off your brush onto the piece. So I love that one too. I liked a lot of them. Let's see. Yep, I got all that. Then this is, what is she using on here? I think this is just cardboard, like uh, chipboard. So this is a piece of chipboard. And she didn't prep it or anything. I think she went straight onto the chipboard. Oh, no, we did. We covered it with gesso. So covered that with gesso, dry it. Then she went hardcore with the color. So red, like really strong color, and then orange. And just rubbed it on really good and blended it. No water, I don't think. Let's double check. Apply the gesso and blend. I mean, apply gelato and blend with fingers. That's it. Then lay a stencil over it. This is what I told you we did on the first one or one of these with the circles. Um, this one, wherever it is. This, no, not that one. Can't find it, whatever. So I took the stencil and a wet baby wipe and just rub away the color where the stencil is. So I love that too. That's another, um, maybe you can do that along with another technique. Where is that other one? I'm gonna find it now, it's driving me crazy. 